This video shows you how to remove the D30 GRGI from the Honda engine and the gearbox from the pump. If you are replacing the pump, gearbox, or complete assembly, this will show you how it's done. The tools needed are a 6mm Allen wrench and an impact wrench with a 6mm and an 8mm tip. First, support the pump with a rubber mount or similar device. Next, remove the four Allen bolts securing the gearbox to the engine using a 6mm Allen wrench. There are two halves of the gearbox held together with five bolts. These are four 8mm hex bolts and one 6mm hex bolt. Remove the bolts using an impact wrench and then pull the two halves apart. You will see a gasket that seals the two halves together. This is a new pump, so it is not torn and still makes a good seal. In most instances, it is recommended to replace the gasket when changing out the pump or the gearbox. Half of the gearbox is still connected to the pump. You will need to use an impact wrench to remove the three 8mm bolts holding the gear onto the pump crankshaft. Remove the bolts and make sure you do not lose the washers. The gear and gearbox half will easily come off the pump now. Put the gearbox half and gear back onto the pump. Don't forget to put the washers back on. Tighten the three bolts to secure the gear onto the pump crankshaft. Place the replacement gasket onto the other gearbox half and line it up with the five bolt holes. The gasket will seal the two halves of the gearbox to prevent any oil from leaking out. Put the two gearbox halves back together making sure the gasket is in place while putting the bolts back in. Now the pump and gearbox are back as one component. Before putting the gearbox back onto the gas engine shaft, apply anti-seize to prevent future headaches. If this step is not done, you will have a hard time separating the gearbox from the engine in the future. Place your thumb on the key so it does not move and align the male engine shaft into the female gearbox shaft. Push the gearbox flush onto the engine until it locks into place, 
then reinstall the four Allen bolts, securing the gearbox to the gas engine. The final step is filling the gearbox with gear oil. Remove the dipstick on the top of the gearbox. There are two grooves on the dipstick and the oil level should be in between the indentations. Add 10 ounces of 80-90 weight gear oil and check the level with the dipstick. If it isn't reaching the correct level, put more gear oil in and then recheck. When putting the dipstick back in, do not over tighten or you may risk breaking it.